The first movie with a major plot twist I witnessed was The Sixth Sense, where, spoiler warning, we find out Bruce Willis's character was dead the whole time. That specific twist is a trick I learned to live my life by. You see, to me, addiction is a haunting. A relentless search for peace by someone who's long been deceased. It's a stillborn self-image clawing for a breath of life. It's making bedmates of death's darkness. So step into my shadow, where a needle prick, pill drop, or whiskey shot acted as a rusty crowbar trying to pry open my soul to feel something, to feel anything at all. Days turn to nights, turn to weeks, searching to feel alive. So of course, I took to poetry, to hitting line after line after line after lying to myself, after battling denial, after trying to put together the scattered jigsaw fractal pieces of my mind. I'm trying to be honest these days, trying to tell my story like it is unfiltered, triple distilled, just how I like it. I mean, liked it. I'm ashamed of how much I liked it, of how it mattered more than living, mattered more than loving, and all it leaves is longing. One more hit, one more sip, just one kiss, just tonight just forever they say us spirits we live forever what that means is that the dying never ends and the living is spent pretending covering up the pooling crimson quagmire of my fatal wound blending in as one of them who assume him there's no way he could be consumed by phantom antics and if he is call it a phase and escape anything to lessen this waking funeral truth i buy into it too walking both sides of this realm an abject detective solving my own murder i am both sisyphus and the boulder at the precipice of perception both I and the beholder it's impossible to hold the incorporeal closer I spend my days hugging wraiths I faced my inner demons to be haunted by the ghosts of overdoses I still hear them screaming Tabani call me Tabani hold me Tabani save me I cannot save you I'm dead too but I don't know it getting clean has been a graveyard I'm a groundskeeper, frantically digging, measuring six feet while shoveling twelve steps. I keep digging and digging and digging. My past won't stay buried, but my friends do. We specters don't remember who we were before we died. I'm trying to recover that. There's no call to action. No solemn catharsis, no sympathy for the strung out, I'm just a kid with a blanket pulled to his chest, talking to ghosts, and I wonder if anyone looks at folks like me, croaking that ghastly gasp to ghouls that goes. I see dead people. <laughs>